If you always wanted to develop your own custom cartridge, then our Wildcat course is the perfect solution. Renowned cartridge designer Fred Zeglin guides you through the entire process, including how to come up with your own design. Generally speaking, uh, people get into wildcatting because they're interested in different performance. They're looking for either more velocity or less velocity or some other change that fits the, the thing they're interested in. Um, another reason would be to have a cartridge that fits a specific firearm, uh, whether it be for length reasons or size. There, there are a lot of reasons why you might have to tailor a cartridge to fit a particular action. However, there are some people who do this specifically for the challenge, and there's nothing wrong with that. He demonstrates the entire design process, including creating your new design, selecting brass for reforming, making forming dies, and forming your new wildcat. Along the way, he tells you just what you can and cannot do. Uh, this is a 348 Winchester case, neck down to um, 17 caliber. Now, it's a great example of what you should not do. Uh, in order to accomplish this, it took a huge number of dies because you're taking a cartridge that's over two inches long and pushing it down to, I believe this is 700 thousandths in length. Um, the disadvantage is uh, at the closer you get down into this area, the heavier the brass is, and naturally it's not going to form very well. And I have one here that's sectioned. We'll see if we can stand it up so you can see it okay. And you can see just how thick the brass is, especially right in the shoulder area and, and whatnot. Uh, the more thickness you gain here, the harder it is for that brass to make the turn in the die and become a, a good, clean, sharp shoulder. And so that's a consideration you want to keep in mind. This is, this is too much brass in the neck area and in the shoulder area. You're going to have problems with pressure. You're going to have problems with neck tension. Accuracy will be uh, a problem with a cartridge like this. And of course, this was just for fun to see if it could be done uh, and we proved that yes, you could form the brass and get there. Uh, in order to actually seat the bullet in this cartridge, we had to uh, do some neck turning and, and uh, thin out the brass in order to get that in there. But again, this isn't even a, a cartridge we've built a gun for. This is a cartridge that we just did as an exercise to see if the brass could be moved and what would be accomplished when we were finished. He even shows you how to make your own chamber reamers and takes you through the chamber cutting process. In the end, you'll have all the knowledge and tools you need to design and produce your own Wildcat cartridges.